Hey everyone, we are devs here. I'm going to show you how to install WordPress with Nginx on CentOS 8. But for this tutorial, I'm going to assume a few things, which is you have a CentOS 8 server with Nginx, MySQL, and PHP. If you don't have all of that installed, I'll link an article in the description. And in the future, I'll probably have a video that teaches you how to set up a LEMP server. If I remember, I'll probably link that in the description too if you're watching this pretty far in the future. Assuming you have all that installed and ready, you can just open up PuTTY and then SSH into your server. First off, you're going to want to set up the database and we'll log in. We will put in mysql-u root-p then you would enter your password. I don't have a password, so I'll just press enter. And now we're gonna want to create a database for our WordPress installation. I'll just put in create database WordPress. Now we've created a database named WordPress. That's all you need to do, so just put an exit to exit the mysql console. Now we'll want to download and install a bunch of packages, so let's run yum install wget nano curl unzip nginx php php dash cli php dash curl php dash zip php dash mb string php dash my sql nd php dash peckle dash json php dash bc math php dash gd php dash fpm and then put dash y so you don't have to say yes for every single prompt when downloading those packages you might have noticed we're reinstalling the nginx and php packages you won't need to but i did that just in case so i can make sure i have everything working fine but if you did set up your lamp server properly there should be no problems you won't need to download it again but you will need to install those other php packages like php math and php mb string otherwise you might have issues with your wordpress setup now let's start downloading wordpress i want to download it to slash var slash www so i'll never get over there with cd slash var slash www now to actually download you would type in wget https colon slash slash wordpress dot org slash latest dot tar dot gz and with typing ls you should see that it's downloaded now we'll want to decompress that package using tar dash xzvf and then the file name latest dot tar dot gz typing ls to view what's in the directory you should see a new folder wordpress let's check it out cd wordpress ls and you'll see a bunch of your PHP installation files. Let's navigate back and let's delete latest.tar.gz. So rm latest.tar.gz and we'll say yes to remove it. Make sure you don't delete the WordPress folder though. We're only deleting the archive because we don't need it anymore. Now we'll want to give ownership of the WordPress folder to Nginx. To do that, we would enter chown-r nginx colon and then the name of the folder, WordPress. Let's navigate back into the WordPress folder, ls. Now we're going to take this sample configuration file and copy it to an actual configuration file. To do so, you would type in cp wp-config-sample.php and then we'll name this copy to wp-config.php. And if you view the directory, you should see that file is now created, wp-config.php. Let's edit that, nano wp-config.php. Now we're going to want to edit these MySQL settings. For the database name, I'm going to say WordPress because that's the name of the database we created earlier. For a database user, I'm going to say root. If for security reasons you wanted to use another database user, go ahead. There'll be no problems if you use root or not. Just for the sake of a simple tutorial, I'm going to stick with root. And I define no password, so I'm just going to leave that as an empty string and db password. All we're changing is the database name, database user, and database password. There's also another line you're going to need to add. We'll put in define parentheses. And then between the parentheses, we'll put in quotes. And then inside the quote should be in all capital, fs underscore method. And then after the quotes, we'll put in comma, quotes. And inside the quotes will be lowercase direct. If you don't add this line, you might have issues downloading plugins. So I'm sure most of you will need to do that. Make sure you add this line here. We'll press Control X to exit and then yes to confirm our changes. Now let's adjust some permissions with chmod777 dot slash wp content slash plugins. Make sure you do this from your WordPress folder. Now let's create a new Nginx configuration for our WordPress website. We'll type in nano slash etc slash nginx slash conf dot d slash wordpress dot conf. We'll start off with server and then brackets. Space that out a bit. We're going to listen to port 80. Then we'll type in server underscore name. After this, you would put in whatever domain name you intend to use. I'll be using wp.weirdevs.com. And for root, you'll want to define your WordPress installation path, which was slash var slash ww slash WordPress. And then the index file would be index.php. Let's define our route with location slash brackets, try files, money URI, money URI again, forward slash slash index.php, money arguments. 
This location will make sure that Nginx returns files based on the root directory. We'll want to define a new location with a tilde or squiggly line and then backslash dot php money. Put your brackets in and we'll do try files again money y equals 404 so we'll just send anything to a 404 page if the path doesn't exist. The purpose of this location is to execute all PHP files with the PHP package. And to make that actually work, we'll say fast CGI underscore pass unix colon slash run slash php dash fpm slash www.sock. On the next line, we'll put in fast CGI underscore index and the index.php. On the next line, we'll put in fast CGI underscore param and then in all capital script underscore file name. And then continue with money document underscore root money sign fast cgi underscore script name on the next line we'll put include fast cgi params once everything's done just press ctrl x and then y to confirm your changes and we'll run nginx t to make sure that there's no errors with a configuration we typed for nginx everything seems fine so we'll restart nginx with system ctl restart nginx so from there, you should be able to just visit your domain and then you will see this. I read online that it's not recommended at all to disable that because it is some kind of protection for your server, but I don't know what else I could have done to get around my problem. Because the problem I've been experiencing is for some PHP files I'll need to edit, it won't work because Selenix is preventing that. This causes issues with plugins or even just normal theme editing. If you can find a workaround without disabling Selenix, please let me know in the comments. But to do that, you'll just need to run sudo set enforce zero this will temporarily disable selenix until you restart your server and then to re-enable it you would just do sudo set enforce one but to permanently disable selenix you would edit this file nano slash etc slash selenix slash config and you would change it from enforcing to permissive we'll just press ctrl x and then y to save if you go this route, you might need to restart your server, but I've only done the temporary. If you go this route, I think you'll need to restart the server, but I already did sudo set in 40, so I know it's already disabled. And now there'll be no issues if we continue with our WordPress setup. Now just to show you that everything's working fine, I'll set the site title to we are devs, I don't know, blog. Set me username to like this video, choose your password. I don't know why it says this. It's a pretty strong password that I used, but uh, just check on confirm use of weak password. And for your email, of course you would put in your own email, but I don't really care. So I'm I'm just gonna put spam at random.com and then click on install wordpress you should get the success prompt you'll get your username on login put in your username put your password click login and then you get your dashboard if you're using Cloudflare and you turned on forced HTTPS, you might be experiencing redirect issues on your WordPress website. To fix that, first go to your Cloudflare dashboard, SSL slash TLS, and then disable your SSL encryption. Then we go back over to our WordPress website, but HTTP colon slash slash, not HTTPS. Otherwise, you might experience issues. We'd go over to the plugins tab. At the top left, you'll see add new. We'll click that. Then we would search Cloudflare flexible SSL. Then click on install now for this green lock by $1 plugin. Click on activate and then you should be able to use your SSL encryption by Cloudflare again. So we'll just turn that back to flexible. And then in edge certificates, we would turn back on always use HTTPS. Now there should be no issues if we head over to HTTPS colon slash slash our WordPress domain. You might need to log in again. I did for some reason. Now you should see this lock indicating we can look at our WordPress domain from HTTPS no problem. Let's create a new post just to show you that everything's working fine. After you've typed your very official article, we'll click on publish at the top right, publish again, and then you should see at the bottom left, post published. Now I'm going to check out the WordPress website using a guest account, so I'll just open up incognito mode and head over to wordpress.weirdubs.com, and then you'll see our articles created. Who's the coolest boy? The reader. You're the coolest boy. Oh, you just watched me install a plugin and create a post. That's pretty much most of what you'd be doing on WordPress, so you now have WordPress on Nginx with CentOS 8. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want more tutorials in the future, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and have a good one.